Is there any significance uh, coming here based on uh, your support of Governor Lee's refugee resettlement program? No, actually, Yashim and I have been uh, friends for a little while, and uh, it's just great food. Um, you know, I don't know if you all saw, but a federal judge actually put in uh, a block the, uh, the executive order, um, which I, I actually don't agree with. I think the localities and states should have the ability, uh, you know, based upon their their individual capacity, um, you know, to to accept refugees. I think there's also been a lot of misinformation about this program. For instance, 80 percent of the people that are coming here are actually Christians. Many of them come from the Democratic Republic of, of Congo, where Christians are being slaughtered by a group called the ADF, the Allied Democratic Forces. Um, almost everyone that comes here ends up being productive and having a job within a few months of being placed in wherever they're placed. It's also an initial program. So unless the United States completely pulls out of any refugee resettlement at all, they're free. Once they come here, they're U.S. citizens. And if they go to Kentucky, they can come to Tennessee. If they locate in Florida, they can come to Tennessee. If they locate in California, they can come to Tennessee. So I, I think this whole thing has been twisted around. In fact, the other day I saw someone calling it Governor Lee's refugee resettlement program. It's President Trump's refugee resettlement program. So as of yesterday, 10 counties out of 95 have already taken positions right. opposing it. Right. Uh, what's your thought on that? And secondly, uh, what will be your reaction if a Niles County Commissioner brings that forward? Well, I, I think the fact that, again, it's a county-by-county county basis. You know, and the rural counties don't get any anyway. You know, it's mainly the urban counties. Um, and commission is free to bring it up, uh, you know, but the president's directive was for the mayors and the county executives and the, and the state executive to make the decision, not commission. Do you know how many states have signed on to the program besides Governor Lee? Uh, it's, I think it's 42. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. I think Tex Texas did opt out, um, but the rest of the, you know, the rest of the states with Republican governors actually, and, and some even Republican governors, you know, have requested an increase in the number because that you know the Trump administration has capped it at 18,000 this year and I think that's another thing is people think that uh, Governor Lee was saying bring in more and that that was not the case at all he was just saying that we agree to this and one of the things that the Trump administration made very clear is that this program uh, is is to to really be able to vet people thoroughly and that's why they have a cap on it like they do. They're vetted not only by uh, Homeland Security, by the FBI, Department of Defense, and in some cases, six national security agencies. So uh, they're extremely vetted. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Brian.